Now then, we've got something quite interesting in here. It's a maximum power point charge controller from Victron. This one's a maximum of 150 volts in, maximum of 80 amps, although you know rule two of solar panels. Don't know, go anywhere near the maximum on any bit of equipment. In fact, about 50% means it will last. And this one, although it's not that old, is faulty. So, why is that? I don't know. Yeah, I have another one here of a similar age, and that's a maximum of 250 volts DC in. And both of them are 12, 24, 36 or 48 volts out. So I'm assuming they're self-sensing, but because I, A, I've got them, and B, it says not accepting PV on the top here, I'm not going to test it yet, I'm going to take the top off. Now, some of you will remember the way to take the top off. You start off with a heat gun and of course prior to that you undo these screws on the side. So we'll undo those screws and then we'll get the heat gun on and we'll get this top mighty mighty warm. So the screws are out and um, just identify a few things. Maximum power point tracking, 150 volts, 70 amps. Yeah, that's quite a lot of power, isn't it? Yeah, um, there's the label. Let's just zoom down on that so you can have a look. Okay, nothing too outrageous there. So let's give this a go. Get the heat gun out. Right. Oh, there we go. Oh, just whilst we're here, this little cover here, I undid the screws. Just thinking what is it and it says display option on there and there's a socket so obviously a little display plugs on there Okay, that's about four minutes and you can't keep your hand on there now. So hopefully, can we see, we can just about see. Ah, that is mighty warm. Okay, so another screwdriver in there, and another one there. Well. That's not coming off as easy as the last one. And we're still in shock just about. Yep. 
yeah, still in shock. Cool. Well, I think we're breaking it. Yeah, we are. We've broken it. Ow. So, since the last video, they've really gone to town and you can't get these apart. Interesting. Yeah, they really 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 and that was really hot. Okay, yeah, there's no chance now. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. That's quite hot but you can't get it apart because they are potted inside a case now rather than before there were just the coils and there was a bit of potting now they've encapsulated it in that and there's no way you're going to get enough heat in there to get that apart yeah that's an awful shame but sort of we're learning now, beforehand, there was a big fuse. So, have we got a fuse somewhere? I can't believe they've done that. Yeah, there was a huge fuse. There's a 50 amp fuse which looks intact so you probably can't see it yeah there's a 50 amp fuse intact at least I assume it's intact okay let's just check it for continuity whilst we're here. Let's zoom out a bit. I'm disappointed they've changed it so you can't get them apart. Well you probably can but that fuse is alright and there's a 50 amp fuse there and that one's alright. You probably can get them apart, but if you notice all those capacitors are potted within this boxing, so there's no way you're going to get that hot enough to get those capacitors out. At least I don't think so. If, you, if anybody's got a better idea, then I'm really willing to listen. So this is the lower voltage of the two and I was thinking ah oh, right we'll get it apart and probably somebody's connected the wrong way around and blown the fuse but that is not the case yep that's not good not good at all designed I was ranting last time about this potting and I could understand people said yeah it's about vibration it's not about moisture it's about vibration but this here is about not getting it apart also because previously they put gobs of this potting compound on this case on the underside of this case popped it down 
and it had just glued things in place to stop them vibrating like the coils but there's no way you're going to get that out right just whilst we're here this is the uh, the case the the heat sink what's underneath this capped on tape if we can get it apart get it up maybe nothing Uh, it just looks like an aluminium block. Yeah, it's just an aluminium block. And that was on there. That's to wedge something. And then we've got these thingy bobs, whatever they are. But they look like diodes. Because there's only... Is there one? Or is there three connections? There's looks like one connection on there. We got one missing there, so let's have a look underneath. Oh no, they've got three legs to them. Can you see that? Yeah, they've got three legs. So they're um they're um fets of some form or other. And that yeah. See, we've used quite a lot of violence to get this apart. Yeah. 50 amp fuses. Yeah. Okay, that's quite disappointing. And I'm going to leave it there because, of course, there's no else you can do. But if you've got one of these big MPPT. Um, charge controllers, the 70 amp ones, you can't get them apart unless, how would you do that? So you've got this cable here which is potted on. Mm. So if you, you could maybe cut round there but you don't want to cut through this cable and then you've got these capacitors that we just ripped all the uh, connections from yeah yeah tell me what you think tell me what your view is these are just rubber buffers let's have a discussion about this because some um, I'm a bit disappointed actually. It's scrap. It really is. These capacitors might be some use. 390 microfarads at 100 volts. Four of them and they look like they're half decent. Those other capacitors might have been some good. 330 microfarads at I don't know what voltage. Um, fuses could be some use quite a big aluminium heat sink that will get weighed in ok let's hear the comments and we've got problems with YouTube they seem to be winding everything down so and the algorithm is peculiar so please do the old likey what's it and everything not for the sake of me personally but there's a point where a lot of these smaller channels are going to just gradually disappear because YouTube won't be pushing them yeah and and so therefore we won't be getting new subscribers because they won't know about us and we won't be able to disseminate the information and it's important to be able to share this sort of information so that, well, with this case you go, oh, it's a complete waste of time to try and fix that. You can't even get the top off. Because, yeah, as you've seen. But with other things like repairing grid inverters and stuff like that, 
if the information doesn't come up in YouTube because nobody's liked it, nobody liked a certain video enough so that the algorithm goes, oh yes, we'd like to share this, then the whole thing is just a desperate spiral down and the big corporates have won because all they want you to do is be helpless, not be able to fix anything and spend more with them and then you know it's just this whole thing of more and more and more use more and more and more resources and that will just create a destruction of the biome in which we live speak to you soon cheers for now